Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com, and in this tutorial, we're going to show you guys how to correctly use the Lightroom 4 preset system. And it starts by importing your photos with an import preset and by using the standard import preset that comes with the Lightroom 4 preset system. So let's jump into our import dialog first. We're going to hit Control Shift I or Command Shift I on a Mac to bring up our, our import dialog box. What we're going to do is go select our source, and what I've done here is I've selected, uh, I've dropped some images in on my desktop that we're going to use just for this sample tutorial real fast. So it's under sample catalog, and it really doesn't matter what you guys are going to import. You actually don't even need to import anything. I just want to have something in here so you guys can see exactly how it works. Now what we're going to do is off to the right, you're going to set up however your typical settings are when you import. Now what I would recommend is that you guys have render previews on minimal. Um, I'd recommend that you select don't import suspected duplicates so you don't bring any duplicate files into Lightroom. And then what's really important is that for the develop settings, what we want to do here is we want to set this to my mixology and standard import reset. And this is going to be the standard import preset that gets applied to every single image when it comes into Lightroom. So for those of you that shoot Canon uh, and Nikon RAW files, this is basically the perfect preset for you guys because if you guys shoot so that the exposures are correct, your white balance is fairly accurate, your images are going to come directly into Lightroom and they're going to look wonderful. They're going to be nice, poppy, and vivid images. And then you can choose to do whatever you want from there on. If you guys are shooting on different cameras, what well, we're going to show you in the next tutorial, uh, if you guys shoot like with a JPEG workflow or on different types of cameras, how to kind of customize that standard import preset to work well with the rest of the Lightroom 4 preset system. So that's the most important thing right there is to set this develop settings. Next we're going to select a metadata preset. Now we taught you guys in the Lightroom 4 DVD uh, and it's actually a tutorial that will be released soon how to set up your own metadata presets and so for that if you guys have any questions I'd say refer to the DVD or refer to that tutorial when we release it online. Uh, I think it's we, we should have that same tutorial for the Lightroom 3 guide and it hasn't really changed so it's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to just select the SR Lounge generic metadata preset that we had previously created and I don't want to set any keywords. My settings are correct up here. I wanted to add these images to the catalog without moving them since they're already in the right location. We don't need to copy and move them anywhere. Next down here what we're going to do is we're going to save what we just did as our standard import preset. So we're going to save this and we're going to go well let's do this. Let's uh, yeah let's just save this as a new preset actually and we'll say SLR Lounge, SLR Lounge. And you guys want to label this you know whatever you guys want. It could be your studio name, it could be standard import, whatever you guys want to name it. So we can call this standard import and say create. Okay so from here on out basically whenever we're importing now all we have to do is come down to the import preset dialog right here and just select SR Lounge standard import and it's automatically going to apply the correct develop settings and everything from here on out. Okay guys so what we'll do is we'll hit import to bring these in and you'll see that after it brings them in we can go and look at one in the develop module if I hit D, you're going to see our develop presets, those standard develop presets have automatically been applied to it once this switches over, of course. There we go. Okay, so we can see everything being adjusted. So it comes in, it's nice, it's poppy, it has kind of all the sharpening applied to it that it needs, um, vignetting, everything like that has been kind of corrected in this standard import preset. Alright guys, let's go on to the next tutorial where we show you guys how to customize this import preset for those of you that have JPEG workflows or shoot on non-Canon, non-Nikon brand cameras.